Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be celebrating Valentine's Day away from the royal spotlight. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently staying in a fancy home on Vancouver Island following their dramatic exit from the royal family in January. While we probably won't see Harry and Meghan step out in public anytime soon, inside sources say that Harry will be putting his culinary skills to the test this Valentine's Day. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle enjoy a quieter life in Canada. Harry and Meghan have spent the past few months in Canada as they look to lead a more private life following makes it. Although it still isn't clear if the couple plans on making Canada their second home, a source claims that they are loving the area. The insider revealed that Harry could not be happier with his decision to step down as a senior member of the royal family. Meghan reportedly feels the same way and loves not being the center of attention in London. The source added that Prince Harry and Meghan enjoy going on long walks on Vancouver Island and love that they are not constantly being bothered by the paparazzi. One of Harry and Meghan's favorite things to do in Canada is go on long walks in the woods with Archie and their dogs without being disturbed. It's a lifestyle Harry's never experienced before, and he's loving every minute of it, a source claimed. Without the fear of being hounded by the British tabloids, Harry and Meghan can also raise their son, Archie Harrison, in peace. How does Meghan Markle feel about Valentine's Day? Prince Harry and Meghan have not commented on the reports surrounding their new life in Canada. They also have not announced what they plan on doing for Valentine's Day, though an old blog post of Meghan shed some light on how she feels about the romantic holiday. Writing for her old blog, The Tig, Meghan revealed that she is a major sucker for Valentine's Day. Without fail, every February 14th, I wake up feeling like I'm immersed in a Robert Doisna photo, waiting with bated breath to be dipped into a kiss, she wrote. This is all happening in black and white, of course. Meghan added that she is not a big fan of expensive gifts on Valentine's Day. Instead, the former Suits star loves more subtle displays of affection, such as a short love note, a flower, or even breakfast in bed. There is no telling what Prince Harry has planned for Valentine's Day in 2020, but a source claims that he will be putting his culinary skills to the test, which sounds like something Meghan is going to love. Prince Harry plans a romantic dinner for Meghan Markle. Although Harry and Meghan are loving their time in Canada, they are not planning on going out on the town for Valentine's Day. According to Closer Weekly, a source says that the Sussexes are planning on staying inside over the holiday and keeping things very private. Harry and Meghan are planning to have a low-key Valentine's Day in Vancouver, the insider shared. That doesn't mean it won't be special though. Meghan's been giving Harry cooking lessons, and he's planning to put his culinary skills to the test by whipping up a pot roast dinner. The insider went on to reveal that Prince Harry will be creating a romantic atmosphere to go along with his dinner. The kitchen at the home they are staying in is reportedly very nice, and Harry plans on taking full advantage of the setting. Unfortunately, fans probably won't get a glimpse of the dinner, unless Harry and Meghan share some photos on social media. With the two wanting to live a quieter life, the chances of that happening are slim. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle protect Archie. While we wait to learn more about Harry and Meghan's sweet Valentine's Day plans, the two have been keeping busy raising their son, Archie. Archie is only a few months away from his first birthday, and the Sussexes are reportedly happy that they don't have to protect him anymore from the stress that comes with being a part of the royal family. Meghan and Prince Harry have been very protective of Archie's privacy over the past year. That will likely continue as the couple sets down roots in North America, though their exit has also opened up some new opportunities for Archie as he gets older. 
When they were living in England, sources say that Meghan was planning on homeschooling Archie to keep him out of the spotlight. But now that they are no longer members of the royal family, Meghan wants to put Archie in a nursery. But now they've moved to Canada. They're planning to send Archie to nursery once he's old enough. Meghan thinks it's important for her little boy to interact with other kids, an insider stated. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, of course, have not commented on the reports surrounding Archie. Their exit from the royal family is expected to become official this spring, though they might return to the UK for one last royal engagement before then. Another analysis. Maybe Archie just turned eight months, and according to speech, experts could soon be starting to form his first sounds. What with a mum like Los Angeles-born Meghan Markle, who lived in Canada for six years, and British Prince Harry a dad, could we see Archie with the American or a British accent when he grows up? Jennifer Dorman, a didactic expert at language learning app Babbel, told Fabulous Digital that Archie could have an American or Canadian accent. She said, Archie has just hit eight months old, so he's expected to be uttering his first words in the coming few months. Children often start to speak between eight and ten months. Between eight to ten months, infants begin to focus on and listen more acutely to the sounds that are meaningful in their environment. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently spending time in a $14.3 million house on Vancouver Island in Canada and plan to split their time between the UK and North America. Jennifer added that this move could have a large effect on Archie's speech and explained, the foundation for an accent is laid out during the first year of a child's life. Not only will both Harry and Meghan's British and American accents influence Archie's development, so will the local variety of Canadian English that he will hear whilst he's in Canada. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex plan to split half their time between Canada and the UK, which should produce some British-American Canadian hybrid. But even as a young adult, it's possible that Archie may take on a recognizable American accent when speaking with his relatives in the USA or a Canadian accent when interacting with his Vancouver schoolmates. The couple moved to Canada this year as they prepare to drop their HRH styles and quit the monarchy for a life of personal and financial freedom. Despite speculation, it is unclear who owns the mansion and if the couple are paying rent. Kate Middleton recently revealed that one of one-year-old Prince Louis's first words was Mary, thanks to Mum Kate's love of Great British Bake Off star Mary Berry. Kate said on ITV's A Berry Merry Christmas, one of Louis's first words was Mary, because right at his height are all my cooking books in the kitchen bookshelf. And children are really fascinated by faces, and your face is all over your cooking books, and he would say that's Mary Berry's. So he would definitely recognize you if he saw you today. The couple shared an adorable photo of Archie in a bobble hat in Canada on New Year's Eve, but there have been no other shots of him there. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also released a photo of their son on their black and white Christmas card, which saw the top crawl towards the camera. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.